we have to talk about Kanto. Kanto is an L1 blockchain and it's getting a massive upgrade very soon, getting its own parallel execution. And we're going to talk about that as well as the Kanto in general. So if you didn't know, Kanto is an L1 blockchain built with Cosmos SDK. Basically, the main reason behind Kanto is to have all the DeFi primitives um, integrated within the one ecosystem. So you get a decentralized exchange, you get staking, uh, you get voting, you get a couple of other things as well integrated within Canton. So that's cool. And that goes within the vision of free public infrastructure. Everything within the this DeFi primitives should be free and accessible to developers. So that's one important thing. However, what's really cool is that uh, they're going into this uh, direction of parallelized EVM and they bring in new updates so that Kanto will truly be super fast and also get additional features as well. And this video is mostly about that. So just on March 18th, couple of days ago, Kanto uh, has announced its Cyclone stack, a parallel execution EVM built for performance and flexibility. So as I've mentioned, Kanto is already uh, huge when it comes to free public infrastructure as well as contract secure uh, revenue, basically uh, focusing on developers because if you bring developers, then users will come as well because if you have products to use on your protocol, then basically there's more and more users. Uh, but innovations doesn't uh, do not end there and they're introducing the Cyclone stack. So that's really cool stuff because they that comes with a set of free upgrades uh, which can be basically up, uh, summarized in one line as uh, bigger, better, faster. But technically uh, they're upgrading Kanto to Cosmos SDK. To, so they're using the, the latest Cosmos SDK that implements as, as well a couple of uh, optimistic execution and that's where uh, this uh, parallel execution is coming along the way. Uh, and and that comes with also two other upgrades, Elara upgrade and Calicora upgrade, uh, that they introducing a couple of other things that will make things more flexible, reducing storage access bottlenecks and al allowing for uh, multiple transactions to be processed concurrently. So that's where parallel execution comes into play. And that's pretty huge. So. Uh, it's really important and I think uh, what's, what's the most important thing here is that Kanto, from my perspective, is still largely undervalued. Of course, this is not a financial advice. I'm myself invested in Kanto. I really like the ecosystem. Uh, I, like the, I like the coin, but it's really interesting because of how much they keep on adding uh, and that's relative to other blockchains that are going this uh, modular path that they basically probably the cheapest uh, when it comes to the general uh, market cap or FDV. If you look at it, because they have the currently market cap of like $150 million when the competition basically has 10x of that. So of course, this doesn't mean they, they uh, the price action will reflect any of these innovations because as you know, in crypto, uh, it's much more complicated than that. And it's all about the attention, but definitely it's worth mentioning. Again, not a financial advice, but what Kanto does, it's really, really cool. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, this is uh, the Elara upgrade, the parallel execution cycle EVM. Uh, the most significant performance improvement in the Cyclone stack comes from the Cyclone EVM, Kanto's proposed optimistic parallel execution engine. So the Cyclone EVM relies on ABCI 2.0 to implement parallel processing without the need to modify the consensus layer. So they do not change anything. All the apps will be working the same, but everything will be much faster because they will they can be done concurrently, parallelly uh, do all the processing of the transactions. And that's pretty, pretty cool. So that's the most important thing. Calicore upgrade, eliminate data access uh, bottlenecks. Uh, so the current Cosmos SDK storage and stake primitives contain significant bottlenecks which prevent blockchains from achieving high performance and scalability. To address these issues, contributors propose using separate data layers for state commitment uh, used during consensus and state storage. Uh, so generally speaking, this again will make everything faster, uh, quicker block commit times, dramatically faster read write operations due to being in memory, increased blockchain stability without restarts, uh, and a bunch of other things. So really cool stuff. Um, and this is what's happening. Also, they're going within that direction. Just yesterday, they have announced the collaboration with Union 
Uh, Union, Union is huge when it comes to interoperability layer and it's basically used for other modular blockchains. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So Union is coming to help Kanto as well. And uh, this will elevate this interoperability option. So for example, connecting with other L2s such as Scroll, for example, to give immediate access to Ethereum tokens issued and used in those execution environments. So they really have this vision moving forward. Uh, and the main, re uh, the, the main vision is to create the best execution layer for original work, uh, which is only realized in an ecosystem that offers seamless and plentiful options for cross-chain experiences. So as I've mentioned, this is really cool. 18 hours ago, they have just announced it. Uh, definitely check, check out Kanto at kanto.io. As you can see here, uh, you can go from bridging landing pools uh, and more directly within the Kanto ecosystem. So you don't have to go to the any external app. Everything is integrated within the one again crypto is risky Kanto is experimental so it's even more riskier uh, so uh, have a notice of that but definitely check it out it's definitely worth uh, looking at for what they're building and how committed they are to the to the game to bringing the best DeFi primitives um, and the best ecosystem when it comes to DeFi uh, available for free uh, to anyone so that's really really cool thank you for watching subscribe to the channel see you in the next video